Hi everyone and welcome to Johnny How To. Today I want to talk about one of my favorite software applications that really saves me a lot of time and worry and that is the backup and synchronization tool called Syncovery. Now one of the things I appreciate most about Syncovery is it's for Windows, Mac, and for Linux. This is kind of a one-stop shop where I buy this once and I'm set for all the different platforms. While there are different licenses available, the standard edition is probably going to fill all your needs, so 34 to 90 is pretty much going to get you going. And if you want to have a combo license for Mac and Windows, you can get that for only a couple dollars more and you're all set. So when you first launch the interface, you're going to get the kind of wizard mode where you can go ahead and set up a synchronization. You'll have a left-hand side, a right-hand side. It's going to kind of take you through the steps. To be honest, I find it a little bit easier to use the advanced mode. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that. But feel free to go ahead and use the kind of wizard mode if you find that more comfortable for you. So in the advanced mode, you can see I have some profiles already set up. And at its most basic, you're going to be copying from one side or one drive to another drive. But you're not limited to just that. You can go from left to right right to left, or you can go by direction. You can see this with this direction tool right here. For this particular case, I'm copying from my local hard drive to an external drive. You can see it's only going in one direction, left to right. But if I double click on this guy right here, you can see this is going left to right, right to left from my network drive and my local drive, and it's going in both directions. Now, another cool thing you can do about this, you can specify exactly how you want it to copy the files. So if I go and double click on this again, for my smart tracking that's usually used for two-way synchronization, which I'm using here, I can go ahead and click on configure this and I can say, okay, moved files, if I've changed on either side, it's going to try and be fully automatic in specifying and updating the sides. And deleted files, I can either have them permanent deleted, but in most cases, I like to have them copied to a deleted file folder on each side so I can review and make sure that I'm not losing any important files accidentally. Again, this is just for my own peace of mind. Conflicting files, it can do nothing and just label as a conflict. It can update on the left or the right, or you can say prompt the user, and this is what I usually opt for because now I know, okay, if there's a conflict, say there's the same file on both sides, the timestamp is the same, but the sizes are different, say, hey, you know what, these are different sizes, but as far as I can tell, they're the same file. What do you think I should do? And so on a case-by-case -case basis, I can make decisions on what I want to have done. All right, so let's go ahead and go through some example case scenarios. And in this case, I have location one and location two on my desktop. Here's location one, here's location two. And let's go ahead and start off by just copying from left to right. I'm gonna go ahead and click on new profile. And again, I'm using the advanced mode, but I feel like this works pretty well. I'll just call this simple copy. And I'll go ahead and copy. I'm going to do Control C, Control V to paste in my left hand side. I'll go ahead and Control C and Control V to copy in my right hand side. Now, when I have standard copying selected, it's going to copy new, missing, and modified file, but it's not going to delete any files. So, any files that are in here, even if they're not on this side, aren't going to be deleted. So, I go and click OK, and I go ahead and run this profile. It's going to say, OK, you know what? On this left side, there's not anything that needs to be updated, but on this other side, there are quite a number of files that need to be updated, and it's gonna give me a list of those. So if I go and click on Start, it's gonna go through the process of copying those over. Now you can also use the exact mirror function, and that's gonna basically say, no matter what is on this side, I have some extra folders and an extra file, no matter what, it's only going to keep the files that are in here, and it's gonna delete any extra ones. So I would go ahead and click on here, and do exact mirror, click OK, go ahead and run this, and now it's going to say, hey, I'm going to delete these files. And in this case, these folders, go and press start. And it's going to say, okay, do you want to delete these? Are you sure? Confirm deletions. And you can go ahead, and since I have it on prompt, I can say that. But yeah, I'll go and delete this file, turn this warning off for all the rest. And there we go. Now I have an exact duplicate. It told me the folders and the files that were deleted, and I have an exact copy. And as a last quick example of the smart tracking, I created a new document one over here, a new file over here, and a new folder. I'm going to go ahead and change this to Smart Tracking, have it do bi-directional, go and click OK, and press to run the profile. It's going to give me a preview of what's going to happen. Go and press Start, and we go ahead. We had files going in both directions, and we are synced up in both directions. Now, there is a lot of functionality I'm not able to cover in this short video, but just a couple other things. You can move files to where they're not going to be kept on the source side. You can actually filter or choose selectively. Say, I don't want to include zip files, or I don't want to include JPEG files. I just want to keep the camera off files. You can actually choose to not copy certain folders or files and have certain criteria of that sort. You also have a scheduler, so you can schedule your backups or copies to happen at any given day or time. And you actually can also, if you have the pro version, I believe, you can have it monitor folders. So if I ever make any changes over here, even if I don't have this program seemingly open, it's going to automatically update it on the other side without me even having to think about it. 
You can also select multiple profiles and run them all at once. Or if you have a profile you want to run and not get all those dialogues of showing what's going on, you can right click and say run in unattended mode. And you can run multiple profiles in unattended mode as well. So I hope this gives you a little bit of insight into why I have found this tool to be so useful. Backing up and securing your files isn't always the most exciting thing to talk about. But if you have any type of important data that you own and have memories or anything of that sort, it's definitely worth taking the time to set up a process in order to make sure that they last over the years. And with that, thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you on the next Johnny How To.